Miss Heather, and I'm so happy that you are here watching our circle time today. Hello! Oh, wow! I'm going to grab my great big red binoculars and look all over the world to find out who is here. Oh, I see so many happy, smiley friends. I see Avery and Leah. I see Jeffrey and Katie. I see Sarah and Michael. Look, there's Charles and Callie. And I see Beckett and Owen and so many, many more friends from all over the world. I'm so happy that you are watching our circle time today. We are going to have lots of fun. Okay, well, can you tell me, is it morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime where you are right now? Wow, our circle time friends are watching it all different times during the day. That's wonderful. Well, let's sing a song to those friends where it is the afternoon time and maybe they're about to eat lunch or they just took a nap. Let's make their hearts feel very, very special. Friends that we don't even know yet. Let's make their hearts feel special and sing them a good afternoon song. One, two, three. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to all our friends. Good afternoon to you and you and you and you and you. And good morning, good evening, and good night to all of our other friends all over the world. Hey friends, it's days of the week time. Do you know what today is? Today starts with the sound. You got it. Today is Thursday. Can you say it like a snake would say it? Let's see. Can we do that? Today is Thursday. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Well, if today is Thursday, that means yesterday was, and it starts with the sound wa. And when you get it, can you say it like a snake? <gasps> Good job. Yesterday was Wednesday. <laughs> Very good. Well, if yesterday was Wednesday and today is Thursday, that means tomorrow will be, it starts with the sound. <gasps> you got it. Let's say it like a snake. Tomorrow will be Friday. <laughs> Very good. Okay, can you get your snappers or your clappers out? Wonderful. Let's sing days of the week. Are you ready? One, two, three. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Okay, I'm going to switch to my clappers this time. Are you ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Well, I hope your Thursday is thoroughly fantastic. As we are building our reading skills, there's lots of fun things we can do to practice. And one of my favorite activities 
is to practice with word families. And we've done it before on our circle time and it's been lots of fun and it's really, really good for our brains as we are building these new amazing skills. Okay, well, we are going to be using our hands today and putting them together to build words. And we are going to be working with the ab family. Can you say ab? Very good. That's gonna be at the end of our word. So we are going to have a sound up here and then ab is going to be the second sound of the word and we're going to put it together and make a word. All of the words end with ab. Okay, let's do the first one. Can you put up k? Can you say k? Good. Ab. And now put it together and we get cab. Very good. Let's do it one more time. K. Ab. Cab. Very good. Now the first sounds of this next word, two different sounds put together. It's cr. So we have a C and an R. Cr. And then ab. Now let's put it together. Ready? Crab. Wonderful. Let's do it one more time. Cr. Ab. Crab. Good job. Okay, the next one starts with the sound d, and then it ends with ab. Are you ready? D, ab, dab. Very good, let's do it one more time. D, ab, dab. Very good. Okay, now the next word starts with two sounds gr, so it's G and R and then ab. Ready? Gr, ab, grab. Very good. One more time. Ready? Gr, ab, grab. Good job. Okay, the next one is ol. It has the ol sound and then ab. Ready? Ol, ab, Lab. Good job. One more. Ol. Ab. Lab. Do you see how we're putting those together and forming words? Good job. Okay, the next one is n. Ab. Nab. So we have the n sound. Ready? N. Ab. Nab. Good job, everyone. Okay, the last one has the t sound and then ab. Very good. Ready? T, ab, tab. T, ab, tab. Okay, let's see if we can read these words together. And if you want to use your hands to help, that's perfectly fine. Are you ready? Okay, here's the first one. Ab, cab. Cr, ab, crab. D, ab, dab. Gr, ab, grab. O, ab, lab. M, ab. Nab. T. Ab. Tab. Great job on your ab family words. All right, let's sing Wheels on the Bus. Are you ready? Great. Okay, let's start it out. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wipers on the 
bust go swish 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 the wipers on the bus go swish 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 all through the town the driver on the bus says sit on back sit on back sit on back the driver on the bus says sit on back all through the town the people on the bus go up and down up and down up and down the people on the bus go up and down all through the town the babies on the bus go wow 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 the babies on the bus go wow 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 all through the town the Mommy's on the bus go The mommy's on the bus go all through the town. Do you know that we forgot the horn on the bus? Are you ready? The horn on the bus goes honk honk honk. Honk, 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 honk. The horn on the bus goes honk, honk, honk all through the town. Okay, let's do one more with the wheels. Ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Great job. Have you ever ridden on a bus before? <gasps> wow, lots of friends have. I have too. And it is a bumpy ride sometimes. <laughs> well, I hope that all your bus rides do not have a whole bunch of honking or crying babies, but that they are nice and pleasant and take you where you have to go. Buses are a great way for lots of people to get to certain places. And then we don't use cars and all the gas that goes along with it. So they're very helpful for our planet. We love buses. Good job, everyone. Now that we are getting into fall where the leaves are changing colors and lots of pumpkins are appearing everywhere, I thought it would be really fun to make a pumpkin craft with our hands. Instead of using our entire hand like this, today we are going to use this part of our hand, which is called our knuckles. Can you say knuckles? Good job. So we are going to be placing our knuckles flat into the paint and then putting that straight onto our paper. Okay, first though, I wanna show you some beautiful pumpkins that are in my backyard. Here are the pictures. Here's the little teeny baby, baby, brand new pumpkin that I just noticed the other day. Can you see how kind of furry it looks. And now here's another pumpkin. It's just slightly bigger and it still has the little flower on top, but you can see that it still looks pretty furry on the outside. And now here is a really big pumpkin. This is the second pumpkin that I noticed in my garden and it's getting really big. It's green but now the orange is starting to appear on the pumpkin. And you can see how big the leaves are for a pumpkin vine. They are really gigantic, almost bigger than the pumpkins. And now this orange pumpkin is the first pumpkin that appeared in my garden. And now it is completely orange and gorgeous. 
So this is the first time I've ever, ever grown pumpkins. And it, it was actually by accident. We were carving our pumpkins last year and just happened to throw the seeds into one of the vegetable beds that we have. And then a couple months ago, we started seeing vines coming up. We didn't know what was going to grow on them. And then all of a sudden, we got these pumpkins. And it's really, really exciting. Okay, well, today we are going to check through our supplies and make our own pumpkins with our hands. So do you have some orange paint? Wonderful, do you have green and brown? Okay, so we are going to use the brown for the stem and then we are going to use the green to make leaves or the little twisty um, vines that come straight out of the pumpkin. Okay, so if you have that, wonderful. Do you have a piece of construction paper? Great. Do you have some paintbrushes? Excellent. And you're definitely going to want a paper towel to wash off your hands. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Go ahead and make a fist like this and then push it straight down flat into your paint. And now look, it's on my knuckles and I'm going to push it onto the plate like this. And you may need your special adult to help you. And this is what I got. So I've decided I'm going to make five pumpkins. decide how many pumpkins you would like to make. There we go. I'm on my last one. How about you? Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to wipe off the orange paint. Just like that. And grab my paintbrush with the brown. And I have my five orange pumpkins, just like that with my knuckles. And I'm going to paint stems on each of the pumpkins. Did you know that you could create pic beautiful pictures with your knuckles? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to grab the green and create little swirly leaves on each. And now I have five green, oh, did I say five green? I have five orange pumpkins, just like that. <laughs> Can we count just to make sure? One, two, three, four, five. And I got a little orange paint on my finger. Five orange pumpkins. Well, I hope you enjoyed making your pumpkins today. And now I'm going to let this dry because it has a lot of uh, paint, a lot of paint on it. So it might take a while to dry, but I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the pumpkins in my garden.